Every year we consume an amount of fossil fuels equivalent to the amount created by nature over millions of years. These supplies are not unlimited, and according to many experts, more than half of these resources will run out over one person's lifetime. This fact should lead us to promote activities to use energy from renewable resources. Water, wind, earth and the sun. The sun is an inexhaustible energy resource. The amount of solar radiation that penetrates the earth atmosphere per year is up to 14,000 times higher than worldwide energy consumption. Solar energy is used to a higher degree in the more prosperous countries of Western Europe. Various forms of financial incentives provided to the citizens of these countries promote investments into renewable resources. In Europe, most solar collectors are installed in Austria and Greece, where there is nearly 300 meters squared of solar collectors per 1,000 citizens. Where can we apply solar heating and how does this system work in practice? To put it simply, solar systems can be used wherever we need hot water, partial space heat in support or swimming pool heating. In addition, solar systems can be used in agriculture, industry or the other way around for cooling purposes. The fundamental part of a solar system is a solar collector. Solar beams pass through a highly transmissive, safety solar glass to a highly efficiency selective absorber layer. Antifreeze heat transfer fluid transports the heat from the absorber to a water heater or other heat consumer. In most cases, the solar system is not the only heating source. Additional sources like a boiler, a wood-burning stove or an electric heating element is required to heat the water in the heater. These sources are used, in particular, at a time when the sun is not shining for an extended period of time or in winter months when solar radiation intensity is lower. There are several types of solar collectors of various construction designs. One of the biggest European producers of flat plate thermal collectors is Thermosolar Giard. Currently this company produces more than 10 product lines under the TS trademark. The most demanded type of collector is the TS300, which features an excellent ratio of price and utility characteristics. Thermo Solar is one of the few world producers of solar collectors with all the main manufacturing processes like collector box pressing, production of selective conversion layers, assembling of collectors and manufacturing of supporting frames concentrated in one single production plant. The flagship of this producer is a unique flat plate vacuum collector. Unlike vacuum tube collectors, this type may be easily integrated into roof coverings and building facades and is more resistant to extreme weather conditions. Finished collectors undergo stringent tests. In laboratory conditions, operating modes are simulated to check the performance parameters and collector lifespan. In the climate conditions of Central Europe, solar systems are most often used for water heating, partial space heating support and the heating of water for swimming pools. Before installation starts, a solar system must be first properly designed, taking into account the purpose of its use. For water heating in households, Thermosolar provides solar sets optimized in terms of price and performance. For other uses, it is necessary to prepare a project before the installation.
collectors are most often mounted on south-facing pitched or flat roofs that are not shaded. If you do not have such a roof available, collectors can be also mounted onto the facades of buildings or other suitable places. Výhoda instalací u nových domů spočívá v tom, že An advantage of installations made in new houses is that in addition to the proper standard water distribution piping, it is possible to install another one to supply a washing machine or a dishwasher for instance. Using preheated water in a washing machine or a dishwasher is just another way how to increase the rentability. It also helps to shorten the payback period. The cost of installing a solar system is paid back several times during its lifespan. Solar systems are not just a trendy fashion in new satellite towns. They can be equally well applied in old as well as new houses in municipalities. A project consisting of 13 passive houses has been implemented in the municipality of Koberovi in the Czech Republic. They have been designed in such a way that their energy consumption is much lower than that of a typical family house. Součástí každého domu je teplovzdušná vytápěcí jednotka, která zajišťuje vytápění. Every house contains a hot air heating unit, which provides heating and ventilation in the building. Each building contains an integrated heat storage tank to store energy provided by solar panels, wood burning stove, or an electric boiler. This energy is then directed to the air unit or to a domestic water heater. A tuto energii, kterou buď získává ze soláru, z krbu nebo z elektrických spirál, předává do vzduchotechnické jednotky nebo předává do ohřevu teplé užitkové vody. V našich domech the solar collectors in our houses are primarily used to cover 60 to 70 percent of energy consumption for domestic water heating. Na ohřev teplé užitkové vody. These family houses serve Anne as an example that properly designed and installed solar collectors can also serve an aesthetic function and be practically invisible to neighbours. If you plan to use a solar system to provide space heating or to heat water in a swimming pool, you need a larger collector array. This also requires a project. Solar systems for swimming pool heating are often well combined with domestic water heating or space heating support. The energy of the sun is huge and the human race should strive to learn to use it properly. If you opt for this cleanest energy resource, you will also feel the changes in your wallet as you reduce your energy bills. In addition, you will contribute to reducing air emissions and creating a healthier environment. Last but not least, remember that one collector is capable of reducing the amount of carbon dioxide emissions in the air by 300 to 500 kilograms per year. This is the amount that would have been produced for water heating using fossil fuels.